Hi Fairies, welcome back to my channel, it's Larisa Andrea, and if I look super weird today, that is because I do not have on mascara, and I do not have on eyeliner, because I am doing a dummy series, um, a makeup dummy series, basically um, going a little bit in depth with different techniques and different um, applications that you guys have problems with, or are curious about, or different ways to apply certain things, so I kind of want to do a makeup for dummies series, because I'm not calling you guys dummies but it's just kind of like the books like you know like I don't know some so-and-so so-and-so for dummies I don't know maybe that just went over you guys head so yeah so this makeup for dummies is going to be on a winged eyeliner you guys have been requesting and asking me to do it so I'm finally here to do it for you guys so if you guys hear a noise that is my freaking cat going crazy over this new toy that she just got she's going insane but so if you hear a little that is my cat going ham on this little mouse toy that she has down here so basically for my dummy series i'm going to be going a little bit in depth with everything and every tool that i use every technique that i do for each uh, application as well as the um actual makeup products that I use um so I'm just going to jump right into the video so I know you guys have seen a ton of people probably use this technique on YouTube a lot of beauty gurus do it a lot of people say that this is the best way to do it for beginners etc 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 and that is using tape to do your eyeliner now we are not going to be using this anymore this is not good this is like slowly ripping our freaking eyeballs off and our skin giving us age lines, giving us curls, feet, and everything else. We're not using this anymore. That's out. So, surprisingly, Sephora Collection just came out with their own version of tape for using um, to make eyeliner. And that is this makeup tape. It is only six bucks. It's so freaking convenient. It's bomb. It is just like the perfect invention because technically I have not seen any makeup tape yet. Everyone has been using like regular tape or scotch tape or whatever the hell type of tape you want to use, but I've never seen a makeup tape. So this is what it looks like. It just has a four collection on it and it's just like a very thin tape that does not stick to your skin you get a very hefty amount of it which is really cool and guess what it's only six bucks so this is the tape that i'm going to be using today so all i'm going to do is just kind of peel off a little section of it you don't need anything crazy i'm just going to cut off like the little end part because we don't need that and then i'm probably going to measure out to about this much this is actually a little bit too much but i'm just going to do it just for the sake of the video um and i'm going to cut two pieces like this size so yeah if you get this tape for only six bucks you're gonna have this for forever unless you do wing liner on an everyday basis you'll probably have it for like about a month or so not even that you'll probably have a little bit over a month but they give you a very hefty amount for six dollars which is super dope and super cool so they have two sides to this one's a four collection side and then the other is a pink side i'm just going to peel away the pink side and then basically stick that to where i want to form my wing liner so if i can just get the tape off the dirt so i'm just peeling off the sephora collection side and this is going to be our adhesive for our skin so i'm just going to get a mirror and i'm going to line so the way that you want to line your wing um is to basically follow the lower lash line of your eye shape everyone has different eye shapes so for example i have more of an almond cat eye eye shape there's round eye shapes there's every freaking type of eye shape possible but mine in particular are almond slash cat eye eye shape um eyeballs so i'm going to be lining the lower lash line or kind of tracing along the lower lash line and have that be my guide for my wing liner so i'm following my lower lash line as a guide and then we are just going to stick it on and just lightly pat um that on your skin so that it stays 
you don't really have to worry about the end part i'm not going to be doing anything crazy underneath my eye i just want to get it for a line and a guide for my upper lash line i like to use two eyeliners actually the first eyeliner i like to use is a felt tip just to let me guide out my eyeliner and then i like to go in with more of a pot type of um application because it's a little bit darker color and i like more of a dark eyeliner um and it's already kind of like we have our guide for our eyeliner already so it's easier to go in with the pot i'll show you guys the pot later um some of you may be struggling with the pot so i kind of recommend to do it with a felt liner first and then use a pot or until you kind of get used to using a pot on its own then just use a pot on its own so the way that i like to do it is i'm going to be going in with my stila felt tip waterproof eyeliner you kind of want to shake it up because it is a felt tip and sometimes the product won't go to the felt tip it would just stay in the bottom of the product so you kind of want to shake it up so that the product can get all the way to the tip <laughs> So first, I'm going to be lining my natural lash line. Um, all I'm going to do is just be stamping the product onto my lash line and kind of having that be my guide. And then I'm just going to kind of just swirl the product on. So instead of talking, I'm going to be showing you exactly what I mean by that because it may have sounded a little bit complicated. So first, I like to stamp and trace out where I want my eyeliner. This is like the easiest way to do it for beginners. I'm not a beginner, but I even do stamping to this day because it's just simple. You get your guide, and then once you have your guide down, um, like I have here, now I'm just going to go and just kind of do like a clean line just to line up any spots that I missed and just to clean up the liner and making sure it's nice and precise, no gaps, no anything. Okay. Now that we have our guide, we're going to wing it out. So we are first going to just drag it out. I don't like to go too far. I kind of like to stop midway between my arch of my brow and my lower lash line. Um, so I stopped about here. And then once I have my line set, I'm just going to fill in this empty space that we have going here. And the easiest way to do that is I like to kind of just slow, like slightly close my eye like this and tilt my head back so that I can see that space in there. So I'm just going to take my liner and just do a nice little simple line. And I like to line it up with the other liner over here. So I'm just going to start here and drag the liner over to meet the other liner on the other side so that we have a nice, straight, precise line. Like so. Now I'm just going to peel away the tape. And there you have it. A wing liner. So I'm just going to do my wing on the other side. And then I'm just going to be right back for you guys. I'm just going to do mascara, etc, etc, etc. So just be right back. So now that the felt tip guide is on, I'm going to go in with my pot eyeliner. And the pot eyeliner I like to use is the Sephora Collection. Um, this is exactly the high precision eyeliner in the color Noir Black. And I'm just going to shake this up because it's like you literally have to shake everything up. And I'm going to open it. You're going to get the product like so. And then all I want to do is basically line over where I put the felt tip liner. This just makes the eyeliner a little bit darker, which is what I love, and it makes it matte. So I'm just going to trace exactly where I had the felt tip liner. You can leave on the tape if you kind of think that you're going to mess up with the pot liner. But like I said, I'm so used to doing it that it's no problem. But for beginners or anyone that doesn't really know how to do eyeliner yet, I would have just left the tape on and then do the liner and then take it off when you're done with your whole liner application. And now that my eyeliner is on on, I'm now going to go in with my mascara. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I don't really necessarily have like a favorite mascara in mine. They all pretty much does the same. Actually, I'm lying. I do have a favorite mascara. And that one is the Marc Jacobs Noir um, Mascara. They're Velvet Noir Mascara, but I don't have any more, which freaking sucks. 
but yes that's my favorite but i just use what i have around because either way i wear eyelashes so it really doesn't matter if you're wearing eyelashes as far as your mascara so that's why i really don't care now i'm just going to go and put on my eyelashes and be right back and then you guys will see the finished product of everything so that pretty much concludes the tutorial my eyelashes are on i put bottom mascara on and that is literally my eyeliner routine that i do on a daily basis or whenever i feel like i'm wearing eyeliner um, if you guys want to see a dummy series on how to put on eyelashes, I can do that for you guys as well. Um, if you guys have any requests as far as like what to add to my makeup for dummy series, definitely let me know in the comment section below. But I really hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I hope I got as much in depth as I could as possible. Um, I really hope you guys liked my technique. I don't know if you will or won't. I don't know if using a tape will help you guys, if it will, if it won't. But yeah, definitely let me know in the comment section. You guys know I love reading all your comments. I love responding to you guys. Any questions that you have, I try my best to respond because I get so many comments every day. So I try my best to do everything and reach out to you guys and respond when you have questions and everything. So if you guys have any requests, let me know. But until then, I will meet with you guys next time. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Bye.